to Matt Carpenter. And Carpenter yanks one to right. His success against Davies continues. It'll get all the way into the corner. Will Myers finds it. And Carpenter standing up at second base with a leadoff double. You talked about how much success that Zach Davies has had down in the zone. Carpenter just that hole at bat looking for something up. Got a changeup that was elevated. Davies did not want to walk the leadoff guy of an inning. Elevated and it continued to be elevated until it got to the wall down that right field line. So the Cardinals threatening here in the second. They got a run on two hits in the first. I sent a picture to uh, Ravi, Eduardo, and Timmy Kirchner on what I was doing. Base hit up the middle for Bader. Carpenter around third. Trent Grisham comes up firing with a bullet high. Goes all the way to the backstop. And Davies there to back it up. Well, they're trading places just like you said. Double for double. Bader replaces Carpenter at second. Couple of outstanding things there on the part of Harrison Bader. First of all, the fact that he was able to make contact. He's able to put this pitch right back up the middle. Davies knows there's nothing behind him there. He tried to kick at it, not able to do anything about it. Carpenter's off and running. You see Grisham come. Now a mistake made again here on the part of the Padres. He overthrows the cutoff, man. And what happens? If that first baseman cannot catch that ball, then you know the next 90 feet have just been given to you. St. Louis with a 2-0 lead. And Colton Wong to the plate for the second time in this game and Wong looks at a first pitch strike if you're unfamiliar with San Diego's success throughout the course of the season outside of what they did at the plate well a lot of it hinged on their starting pitching De Nelson Lamette and Mike Clevenger neither one of those guys are on the postseason roster so instead of Davies going in game number three he's throwing in a must win game number two and they use just about every available arm in the bullpen last night. I mean, just think about where the Padres were at 10 days ago. I mean, they were loaded. They might have been as complete as, as, as any team in the game. They were just maybe a notch below the Dodgers as far as the, the, the balance and the strength of the bullpen. And then having those two guys at the top of the rotation, I don't know which way Jace Tinger would have gone, but he couldn't have grown wrong either way. Then all of a sudden, those two guys break down. You don't know what to do in game one and right off the bat you find yourself down four to nothing in the top of the first inning. Seven different relievers followed Chris Paddock who allowed six earned and two and a third. This one lifted down the line and it is gone a two run shot for Colton Wong and the Cardinals pouring it on in the second. Just his second home run of the season for Wong. When this series started, everybody was talking about the power and the speed of the Padres. They weren't talking about it with the Cardinals because there wasn't anything to talk about. They were down towards the bottom of the list in both of those departments. But all of a sudden, they have found their power stroke. They're taking the extra base when it's given. And there was no doubt about that in the mind of Colton Wong that he had just left the building. So only one home run throughout the entire regular season for Wong and already he has one in the postseason. 103 off the bat a 410 foot shot. 